I think everybody's heard of the air fryer by now. It's an absolutely fabulous invention. It's basically a concentrated mini oven. Pro Home Cooks on YouTube did an experiment where he compared ovens versus air fryers. The only real difference was the heat up time. And that's because, I guess, because it's smaller, right? And so it heated up quicker. It got to the temperature, to the set temperature before a conventional oven did. But when it came to crispiness and flavor and all that, they were very, very similar. So the air fryer is definitely not on the exact same level with a lot of different foods. But with chicken wings, the air fryer can hold its weight. However, I've never done a side-by-side -side comparison. So tonight, we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of air fried chicken wings versus deep fried chicken wings. And we're gonna see which ones are more juicy. We're gonna see which ones are more crisp because you gotta have a crispy chicken wing. And we're just gonna see which one is a better overall experience, a better bite. Let's heat up the air fryer as well as getting the oil up the temp. Now, a couple years ago, I bought this Bayou Classic deep fryer and I absolutely love it. Why everybody was going more healthy, I was like, all right, let's try the old fashioned deep fryer. And it's great at times. I don't use it very often because I wanna live, but uh, I definitely love cooking with it whenever I can. And tonight's a perfect opportunity to try it out with some chicken wings. If you don't have a deep fryer like this and you want to try this at home, no problem. Just use whatever method you like to use, a pot, Dutch oven, whatever you have, whatever you want to use is fine as long as you can get enough oil in it to cover the chicken and monitor the temperature fairly accurately. We want to do both the air fryer and the deep fryer at the exact same temperature, 375 degrees. The Bayou Classic has this built-in thermometer, so we'll be able to get that oil exactly where we want it. As far as an air fryer, this is the first one I bought. And it's the only one I've ever bought because it gets the job done. It's simple, it's easy. The only criticism I have is the handle here. And it's a problem on most air fryers. When you, you saw what happened there, right? When you go to take it out, your thumb just kind of naturally slides across here. But the problem is, is that releases the basket. And so what's happened more than once is when you go to take it out, the, the housing falls to the floor while you still have this in your hand. Uh, I understand that some of the newer ones have fixed that feature and have covered this so that you have to intentionally slide the cover back in order to get to the release. Great idea. There's nothing special about this. It just works. It's simple. You set the temperature, you put your wings in, and you cook, you know, just like the oven. Now, the deep fryer is not quite as simple as pushing a button, but it's not too bad as long as you're just a little careful about safety. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the propane on and as soon as I hear it I'm gonna go ahead and try to light it now I turned it back off on purpose so you could hear me but this is the part that you have to be careful with because if it doesn't light right away you're gonna to want to kill the gas let that gas dissipate and then come back and try again otherwise you can create a mini bomb Now for the air fryer, we're just gonna turn it on. Preheat, temperature, 375, time. Eh, we'll just leave it on 15. It'll be up to temperature way before then. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put a saucepan on the burner of my gas grill. Some Sweet Baby Ray's Sweet Teriyaki up. And we're gonna do that so that it's got a nice thin consistency rather than being a honey or something like that. We want it to be thin. That way it sticks to those wings perfectly without being, you know, too much. And we're just gonna do that on low heat so we don't burn it. Well, I don't like to buy my, my wings whole like this, but to be honest with you anymore, it's getting hard to find decent wings that are already cut or what they call wingettes. Uh, so, uh, you know, it, it's not too hard to chop them up. I'd rather have a nice big wing than, you know, a puny one, even if it takes a little more work. Very simple to trim these guys up. Right here, we have two joints. You have the drumstick, the wing, and the tip. You just find this joint and just give it a nice little press down. And now you find where the skin kind of comes down and the two meet each other and just a nice little slice. And then you can usually just wiggle your knife through there like that. And then you have a drumstick and a wing. What's your favorite? Tell us down in the comments below. Are you a drumstick person or are you a, a wing person? Personally, I'm a wing person.
I don't want to put seasoning on here because when you're using a deep fryer, anything that you put on the food before it goes in the fryer, well, it just, it, you know, it gets into the oil and you can never get it out. So in order to keep this fair, we're going to not put any seasoning on any of them. We're just going to dip them in the sauce afterwards, which is fine. I do that a lot of times anyway. Uh, sometimes you're going for a wet, saucy wing and sometimes you want a dry wing. Uh, we're going to go with a wet, saucy wing this time to make sure that they're as close as possible as far as cooking methods and, and flavors. However, we are going to toss them in some AP flour. No egg or any type of wets, just a coating of flour. And we're right about 375 on the deep fryer and the air fryer is up to temperature as well. Spray it with some oil so they don't stick. Space, keeping space between them is, I think, uh, really part of getting crispy good wings. If you crowd them, you're not gonna get that crisp. But we're not gonna start it yet. I'm gonna go ahead and put our wings in the fry basket. All right, 375. And we're gonna go ahead and do them for 15 minutes. And our oil is at 375, and we're gonna slowly drop these down into the oil. Halfway through, let's give them a little shake. You can see, you can still see the flour, so I'm gonna hit them with just a little bit of oil. There we go. Back in and finish. And same thing here. Oh, give them a little shake. And back in. 11 minutes in, I'm gonna check the temps. Oh, they're floating. Typically when food starts to float in the fryer, it means it's done, but let's use a thermometer to be positive. If you don't have one of these guys, there's a link down in the video description. Absolutely amazing, must have to make good food. Right about 200, we're good. It's kind of odd because the actually the oil temperature was falling off, it was getting closer to 350, whereas this should be keeping the same temperature, but it's taking longer. See that? We're only 145 there. One minute left. One seventy. We still got. We're gonna have to add some more time. All right, nineteen minutes in. I think it's more important to have the same internal temperature than it is to have the same cook time. One ninety four. Two. Yeah. Some are a little more than others. I think we're good. Deep fryer, air fryer. Oh man, my favorite part about doing this channel, taste testing the food. Let's go ahead and try a wing from the deep fryer. Oh man, the sticky teriyaki just, gosh. Let's see how it tastes. That's a good wing. Nice crunch. And of course that teriyaki sauce is just amazing. Let's try a wing from the air fryer.
Okay. Only part about having a beard, it kind of sucks. Always getting really dirty when I eat or drink. Let's talk about these wings. So going into this, my thought was the oil would produce a crispier skin. And I think, I think it did just a little bit, not as much as I was expecting. You could taste the oil on the deep fried wings. And you know, it's, it's an additional layer of flavor that the air fryer wings you just hit them with a little canola oil, you know, didn't have. And you can taste it when you taste them side by side. So the deep fried wings have just a slight more crisp to the, to the bite than the air fried wings. Um, the air fried wings took longer when I was cooking them both at the same temperature. So that's a little bit odd. Moisture, I think the deep fried wings are just a hair more moist as well. And I guess that's because they're cooking in completely submerged oil. I think we all know the air fried wings are way healthier. And so the question is, which is better? Well, if you're in the house doing the deep fried in like a, a Dutch oven or something, that's a messy, messy process. And so automatically the air fryer is going to get the, the win, in my opinion. Um, in, in most cases, the air fryer is going to get the win. They're better for you health-wise. Uh, and they're very, very close to the same level as a deep fried wing. However, if you just want that perfect wing, you know, maybe uh, you're serving them to your family, you're having a barbecue or whatever, and you want that perfect wing. You want to say, you know what? I want people to leave here saying Mike's wings were amazing. Um, I think you go with the deep fried wing. And it's like that for a lot of things in life. You know, when you want that, that next level product, you got to step up your game a little bit. And uh, with the deep fryer, you get that. Both of them are amazing. I and mean, it's hard to go wrong with wings, right? Um, you could not crisp up the skin enough, but both of these methods are going to give you a crispy skin and a delicious wing. Let us know down below, guys. Uh, are you a wing person or are you a drumstick person? And what's your secret for perfect wings? If you enjoyed the video, I'd greatly appreciate it. If you just took a second to go down below, hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and share the video on your Facebook wall so they can see videos just like this. Have an awesome week, guys. I'll see you on the next video.